a cylinder of diameter 1 meter okay you observe over here there is a cylinder now this cylinder has diameter of 1 meter and weighing 1000 newton so w is given which will act at the center of this cylinder and another block weighing 500 newton so here you see this is a block which is weighing 500 newton are supported by a beam of 7 meter length so this is the beam ab whose length is 7 meter and weighing 250 newton so weight of this beam is also given now with the help of cord okay this is the cord as shown in figure now in case of cord what is the force that is uh, developed inside the cord we have just now seen okay it is called what tension so basically we have to find tension in the cord now tension in the cord how to show that it acts in the direction of cord and away from the body so it, the tension you have to show in this way if the surfaces of contact are frictionless this is very important so here we don't have friction okay the, there is a contact between the cylinder and the vertical here we don't have friction here we don't have friction that is very important determine the tension in cord here we have to uh, determine the tension and we have to determine the reaction at contact points now where, what are the contacts contact points over here please someone please tell me what are the contact points okay so you have to basically find reaction at point of contacts that is d and e okay now tell me how to draw the fbd okay so first let me draw the uh, and one more thing here we have hinge support so here we, we will get two reactions okay so i'll draw the fbd now so let me draw the diagram as it is first this is the beam this is the cord and uh, here we have a cylinder okay so uh, this point point of contact is d so tell me if i draw fbd together where will i get reactions kon se kon se jagah pe reaction aayega aur kon se kon se jagah pe weight aayega ek ek karke bolte jao okay let me show the points first ye ek point hai e okay ha and this point is a this point is b now tell me kahan kahan pe kaise kaise reactions aayenge so at position d from the vertical wall okay there will be reaction on the cylinder because of that that cylinder is being held in equilibrium so that will be rd then at point a since here we have hinge support here i will have two reactions horizontal reaction this i am assuming the direction okay so this will be ha same as beam okay i have to assume the direction and this will be va now what will happen here this point will not matter because i will take moment about this point so ha and va moment will become zero because uh, ha and va are passing through the moment center okay next for point e i will draw perpendicular to the beam like this okay next one what is the next uh, support okay in cord we will have a tension right so this tension will be acting in the direction of cord away from the beam so this will be tension t now uh, we'll talk about the angles this angle is 45 degree okay so what will be this angle Forty five because here we have ninety degree. So this angle is forty five degree. Okay, I'll write it over here. Forty five degree. Okay, in same color, red, red. Next, uh, if I draw a, uh, a line over here, 
okay which is joining the center of the cylinder with these two lines ad and ae okay this will form angle bisector okay so if i draw a line like this it will form a angle bisector and this is the radius okay so here basically i can show this is radius and this angle will be how much it is angle bisector right this is angle bisector and this is 45 so this angle will be 22.5 so this is 22.5 degree okay i cannot show it over here that is why i am using these colors next you observe this is 45 this angle is also 45 it is given in the question so what will be this angle 90 because this is 45 this is 45 this will be 90 so i'll show here angle as 90 degree now since this is 90 degree i can directly take moment of this tension about point a because what is uh, moment it is force into perpendicular distance from moment center suppose this tension is at a particular angle like this suppose it is 30 degree like this it is given so what you need to do you will take horizontal component you will take vertical component then you will take tension of uh, you will take moment of horizontal component about point a then you will take a uh, moment of vertical component about point a okay here your work is reduced fortunately because this is 90 degree only did you understand this much ha huh. next you observe at point B, I have weight which is acting in downward direction. So, I will show that weight. So, at point B, this location, there will be weight of 500 Newton. Then next, uh, the radius. Okay, diameter is 1 meter. So, radius is how much? 0 0.5 meter. Okay, next. What we will do? We will see what is the length of the bar now length of the beam AB what is the length given over here 7 meter and its weight is 250 Newton now weight always act at uh, center of gravity so 7 meters half is 3.5 so at 3.5 that weight will act in downward direction so I will show the weight of the beam now so suppose this is the center of the beam so this weight will act in downward direction what is the value of this weight 250 Newton okay and what will be the length totally 7 meters so this much suppose this point i'll give a name okay maybe this is uh, g centroid uh, center of gravity g so a to g distance will be uh, 3.5 i'll write down over here ag equal to 3.5 meter and same way uh, bg will also be 3.5 meter Okay, so here the weight will act. Next, what we will do now uh, at this location also we have cylinder whose weight will act in downward direction. Okay, so I will show that weight. So, suppose this is the weight of the cylinder. What is the weight of the cylinder? 1000 Newton. Okay, now I have shown everything over here in this diagram. So, what I will do now? I will consider FBD of uh, this cylinder. Okay, so if I draw FBD of this cylinder, how many forces are acting on this cylinder? Three forces. One is RD, one is RE and the last one is 1000 Newton. So, this will be the cylinder. Uh, the weight on the cylinder will act in downward direction this will be 1000 Newton then at this location I have RD this is RD and this will be RE now you observe here we have three forces ok so all the three forces will meet at the center that you have to understand from the three force principle Okay, because this body is in equilibrium. 
हाँ नेक्स्ट विल बी वी नीड टू फाइंड द एंगल बिकॉज वेन वी आर कंसिडरिंग एफ बी डी ऑफ दिस सिलेंडर एफ बी डी ऑफ सिलेंडर वी रिक्वायर द एंगल एज वेल ओके सो वॉट विल बी द एंगल ओवर यूर अंडरस्टैंड इट सी दिस एंगल ऑफ द बीम विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू हॉरिजेंटल इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सो इफ आई ड्रॉ परपेंडिक्यूलर टू द बीम एंड इफ आई ड्रॉ परपेंडिक्यूलर टू हॉरिजेंटल दिस एंगल विल बी हाउ मच फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री ओके एंड इफ दिस इज फोर्टी फाइव अलॉन्ग द एक्स एक्सिस ऑल्सो दिस विल ऑल्सो बी फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एंड दिस विल बी नाइंटी डिग्री सो द सेम थिंग आई कैन शो ओवर यर दिस एंगल विल बी फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री टू रिजॉल्व इट नाउ आई एल यूज द कंडीशन ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम फर्स्ट कंडीशन फॉर द कंसिडर आई एल राइट डाउन कंसिडर एफ बी डी ऑफ सिलेंडर ओके सो इफ आई कंसिडर द एफ बी डी ऑफ सिलेंडर वॉट विल बी समिशन एफ वाई समिशन एफ वाई विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वॉट वॉट इज द सिस्टम ऑफ फोर्स ओवर यर कॉन्कर एंड फोर्स सिस्टम ओके आर डी आर ई एंड डब्ल्यू दे आर थ्री फोर्सेज एंड फॉर्मिंग अ कॉन्कर एंड फोर्स सिस्टम सो आइदर यू कैन यूज लैमिज थियरम और यू कैन यूज द कंडीशन ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम समिशन एफ वाई इक्वल टू जीरो और एंड समिशन एफ एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस आर डी विल जॉइन ओवर यर ओके आई शो इट सेम वे आर ई विल जॉइन लाइक दिस basically okay so summation fy equal to 0 now fy means this will be downward so minus 1000 and y component of re will be plus upward so plus re sin 45 equal to 0 so from here i can find re what is value of re 14 One four point two one newton. This is value of R E. Next, I will use summation f x equal to zero so that I can find R D. Okay, so I'll use summation f x equal to zero. Okay, so plus R D y plus because R D is towards right. Okay, then R E x component will be towards left. Okay, so it will be minus. So minus R E and angle is with respect to x axis so x component is cos cos 45 it doesn't matter in this case because here also we have 45 here also we have 45 okay so it will not matter in this numerical equal to 0 so i can find value of rd because re is already known give me this value rd rd is equal to 1000 newton now we know okay what is the question asked reaction at point of contact okay so rd and re we have found out so these are answers next what we will do understand see the diagram okay now here you see this we have a triangle over here okay and if you want to take moment of rd about this point we require this distance so what will be this distance distance ad how to find it see here this is adjacent side and we have value of opposite side so which ratio we are going to use tan ratio and angle this angle is known so this angle is known so what i can write uh, tan of 22.5 is opposite side which is radius 0.5 upon adjacent side ad okay this ad so only unknown over here is ad i can find ad what is the value of ad 1 point so ad is 1.207 meter so this is that ad value i will require this value for taking moment so this is 1.207 meter now what we will do we will discuss about this length okay when i have to take moment of this force about point a how i will take 
now if you consider this triangle over here this side is adjacent side this side is hypotenuse hypotenuse is how much 3.5 meter okay so and angle is known so i will use cos relation so what will be this distance it will be 3.5 into cos 45 did you understand this ye adjacent c what is cos 45 adjacent upon hypotenuse okay so what will be this adjacent side it will be hypotenuse which is 3.5 into cos 45 same way same way if i want to take moment of this 500 newton i require this distance what will be this distance directly i can write this length is how much 7 meter so 7 cos 45 will give me this distance okay so if i don't show this in the diagram that is fine directly i'll uh, use the equation now what i'll do i will consider fbd of this beam together okay now when i consider fbd together i don't have to show this force ye jo hai ye wala force yahan pe nahi aayega q because basically uh, since i am drawing fbd together it will form an internal force na like this because if i draw fbd of beam on beam reaction is like this okay and when i draw fbd of cylinder reaction on cylinder is like this so basically this forces are cancelling each other when i show fbd of uh, the block together so what i'll do i'll erase this part you understood why i am erasing this part over here see when i show this this fbd is fbd together okay on cylinder there will be reaction in this direction which i have shown in this fbd of cylinder okay and if i draw fbd of only beam on the, in that case there will be reaction in this direction so both are cancelling each other and when i draw fbd together here at this location i won't have any reaction okay but here i'll have that reaction okay okay yahan pe ye wala reaction rahega ye wala kyu rahega because here i have separate support see ye jo hai ye point pe these support are balancing each other but here we have some external support which is the wall over here so here the wall will give the reaction because see when i draw the fbd what i do i remove the wall okay so technically speaking this is not a complete wall at this location okay if you see this part here we don't have a complete line like this okay this will be i'll show this with a thin line because here i cannot show the uh, wall because this is fbd so this is basically the reaction from the wall and i am not showing the wall at this location okay so that is why i am showing fbd like this otherwise you will argue na then in that case ki e location pe yahan pe cylinder pe aisa aa raha hai reaction beam pe aisa aa raha hai to hum log cancel kar rahe hain so same thing happens over here <coughs> on the cylinder there is reaction in this direction on the wall there is reaction in this direction ye cancel hoga cancel hoga but when i draw fbd of uh, body together i don't show wall na to wall ka yahan pe main bata hi nahi raha hu to wo cancel kaise hoga are you understanding this point ha ah, so that is why at this point i am showing rd and at this point i am not showing re in fbd together this is the reason okay now i will solve this okay i will consider fbd together okay or i can say consider fbd of uh, the system so i'll write down the statement consider fbd of the system see what i have to finally find i have to find value of tension we have to determine tension in the cord means i have to find t so i will be taking uh, this is which type of system of force now it is general system of force because all the forces are not see they are coplanar all the forces lie on a single plane they are not passing through one point only but they are not all the forces are not parallel so they are general okay and in general force system i have three equations summation fx equal to 0 conditions of equilibrium summation 
एफ वाई इक्वल टू जीरो एंड समेशन ऑफ मोमेंट अबाउट अ पॉइंट इक्वल टू जीरो सो हियर वॉट आई विल डू आई विल टेक मोमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट ए वाई बिकॉज इफ आई टेक मोमेंट अबाउट ए देन एच ए एंड बी ए विल बिकम जीरो आर डी वी हैव फाउंड आउट ओके टू फिफ्टी इज नोन डिस्टेंस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फाइव हंड्रेड इज नोन डिस्टेंस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ओके दिस डिस्टेंस इज नोन ओनली अनोन ओवर हियर विल बी वॉट टी ओके सो इन दिस वे आई कैन फाइंड द ओनली अनोन बींग वैल्यू ऑफ टी सो आई राइट नाउ टेकिंग मोमेंट ओके सो लेट मी कॉपी दिस डायग्राम सो दैट वी कैन इजीली टेक द मोमेंट ओके सो आई हैव केप्ट द डायग्राम ओवर हियर फॉर रेफरेंस ओके नाउ वी हैव टू राइट समेशन ऑफ मोमेंट समेशन ऑफ मोमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट ए इक्वल टू जीरो ओके नाउ वॉट विल बी द समेशन ऑफ मोमेंट सी फर्स्ट वी विल कंसिडर आर डी इट्स मोमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट ए इज इन क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन सो इट विल बी माइनस सो माइनस आर डी वॉट इज वैल्यू ऑफ आर डी वन थाउजेंड न्यूटन सो माइनस आर डी इन टू परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस वन पॉइंट टू जीरो सेवन ओके दिस डिस्टेंस देन नेक्स्ट फोर्स इफ वी कंसिडर वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट फोर्स यर वी हैव वन थाउजेंड न्यूटन ओके मोमेंट ऑफ दिस वन थाउजेंड न्यूटन अबाउट पॉइंट ए इट इज क्लॉक वाइज और एंटी क्लॉक वाइज क्लॉक वाइज कीप योर थम एट ए कीप योर इंडेक्स फिंगर ओवर यर रोटेट इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एरो इट इज क्लॉक वाइज सो माइनस वन थाउजेंड इन टू वॉट इज द रेडियस ओवर यर हॉरिजेंटल डिस्टेंस इज रेडियस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव next okay we have con considered rd we have considered 1000 newton next is 250 newton okay now this 250 newton about point a is creating which moment clockwise or anti clockwise clockwise so this will be again negative so minus 250 into what will be this distance this distance will be this is 3.5 so 3.5 cos 45 so 3.5 cos 45 next next force is this one 500 newton okay it is creating a clockwise moment about point a so it will be what it will be minus 500 into this distance will be how much this is again adjacent side so adjacent side is always we have to consider cos so hypotenuse is 7 so 7 cos 45 next next here fortunately tension is perpendicular okay so we don't have to take the x and y component of tension directly we we can take the moment about this point so this is anti clockwise so plus t into perpendicular distance is 7 equal to 0 find value of t t is equal to 685.79 newton this is the final answer okay uh so we have completed with the problem what was asked in the problem let me quickly go back to the question what was asked we'll quickly revise the problem okay here you observe a cylinder is given whose diameter is 1 meter weight is 1000 so weight will act at the center of gravity of the cylinder and uh, there is a block whose weight is 500 newton they are supported by a beam of length 7 meter so ab length is given as 7 uh, meter and weight is 250 newton so this 250 newton will act at the center of gravity that is 7 divided by 2 this will be 3.5 and this will be 3.5 meter respectively then if the surfaces of contact are frictionless this is very important so here here we don't have any friction 
determine the tension in the cord so we have to find the tension at on the cord in the cord and reaction at the point of contact which which are d and e so here we have to we have uh, drawn two fbds one fbd is for cylinder okay on cylinder we have horizontal force weight and since the cylinder is in contact with the beam beam is giving the reaction in this direction so that reaction is shown that reaction will be perpendicular to beam okay so here i have shown fbd of cylinder okay then i considered summation fy equal to 0 summation fx equal to 0 because this is three force system and uh, the coplanar concurrent force system so I, I have to use these two conditions of equilibrium and or else i can use lamis theorem also you will get same answer now once this is done next part is what uh, we have considered fbd of the system together now when i draw the fbd of system together this point becomes the critical point d and e why because if you consider point d okay how we draw the fbd we remove the support and we draw the fbd so when i remove the support okay on support there is reaction in this direction okay and on the cylinder there is reaction in this direction so when i am removing this vertical support reaction in this direction will not be there only there will be one reaction which is towards right that is why i have shown over here so it is as if that this line is not existing that is why i have drawn this uh, line as thin line okay here i have I, I cannot show support support is shown like this okay if i draw a hatching line over here it indicates support so basically i have removed the support so that is why there is one reaction on this fbd together okay but if you consider point e here what happens for this cylinder there will be reaction in this direction okay and on this beam there will be reaction in this direction by the cylinder okay and we are neither removing the cylinder we are nor removing the beam so they will cancel out each other and in the fbd together we are not showing any reactions at point e now did you understand ha huh. then for fbd together we applied moment about point a equal to 0 okay so for that we required this distance how we found this distance this angle is given in the question as 45 degree this is uh, so this will be 45 degree if this is 45 and this is given as 45 this will be 90 degree okay this angle is 90 degree now since ad is tangent to the cylinder ae is tangent to the cylinder the this point from a point if i join the center of the cylinder i'll get an angle bisector so if this is 45 this angle will become 22.5 okay this is 22.5 and this is the radius so i can get this uh, ad distance by using tan ratio of trigonometry okay now when i consider this triangle okay i want this distance to uh, when i want to take moment of 250 newton so this side is the adjacent side and we know hypotenuse value it is 3.5 so it will become 3.5 cos 45 same way this distance horizontal distance will be how much it will be total 7 into cos 45 okay so i know all the forces and i know all the perpendicular distance i can take the summation of moment about point a equal to 0 only unknown will be t and we have found that value of t which is coming out to be this value is it clear ha huh. so with this uh, we have completed uh, uh, the problems on equilibrium Okay